How are you going guys? Out of the shed again today, so apologies for the filming, we've had some issues with batteries and that sort of thing, so we're going to cobble together whatever we can from the filming we have done. So this is the back wall that you're looking at behind me here. So we got probably three quarters of it done yesterday. So it's up to, you can see there actually, up to here. So we've just got another three sheets to put on. Um, I realized yesterday, early in the day, that I didn't bring the tool to change the disc on our grinder, so I couldn't cut the tops off. And I couldn't cut around the meter box which is over in the corner here so i've got a couple of two panels to go there two more sheets to go there sorry and the three on the back here and then that's all the walls done then i have to get up and cut these um, angles on the back side i've done the front side already uh, once that's done um, i've got a few bits and pieces to finish up just putting some bolts in the knee braces that I did, so they're just up there at the moment. Uh, they're screwed in, but I've got to put a bolt, or two bolts actually, in each end. Uh, and there's four of those to do in here. 
and then we'll have hopefully we've organized a roof plumber to come and do the roofing now i think i mentioned before but in victoria uh, in australia here to do a roof where it's connected to storm water which this is uh, you have to get a registered roof plumber which is basically a plumber with a ticket it's really frustrating it's annoying i wish i could do it myself but we can't um, it is really frustrating it's expensive uh, but it's something we have to do so we're going to do a bit more filming today we'll put these two panels on the back i've got two sheets left for this side but they are the full length sheets i'm going to cut them down a bit just so they're easier to manage when we're standing them up there um and then yeah like i said that's all the the wall sheeting for the back and then i've just got the front bit there so we'll get into that and uh see how we end up today so um we want to try within the week to get the bottom sections of the roof done so we'll see how we go this last piece on the back wall here it's only 420 mil just under half a meter wide so trying to hold a full sheet up there there's a bit of wind coming through as well it'll be a pain so i'll do it inside the shed on the ground and then put it up
Okay, so I'm just gonna mark out the top here and then cut them off. Young guys, so I'm just standing inside this shed because it's really windy outside. So I've spent most of the day putting the screws along the top purlins on the outside. Um, we're up to the stage now, sorry. The only part I can't do is right at the top. So just on the top peak, it's, we're getting a pretty strong southwesterly this morning, uh, this afternoon. So yeah, I can't um, can't get up there. So. We're going to put the flashings on. So the four corners of the shed and then the flashing around the garage door opening here. So just here. Probably, sorry if it's windy. So the garage door and all of the corners. So the top gets done later. Top flashing. But just for today, just putting the, uh, the corners and the garage door flashing. Hopefully the roof plumber we'll be able to do the roof later this week. We're going to make a start on it anyway. So hopefully, so here we go.
for watching today's video. Please share, like, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again next time with 20 Acres to Home.